So despite the fact that this channel is orientated around FIFA or FC if you like now, if you were to ask me what is the best football video game, it is hands down the Football Manager series. Believe it or not, I actually play more Football Manager than I do any other football game, whether it be FC or now eFootball. And I always advise everyone that they should try out Football Manager. However, there are a couple of issues, particularly for beginners. And the most important one of those that you see the most is that people are too daunted by it. And listen, I know better than anyone, it can be extremely daunting. You look at this, you're presented with this straight away, lots of different options, lots of different menus, a whole lot of data, and that can be very, very overwhelming for a new or inexperienced player. If that's you, then fear not. I am going to change your experience with this game forever. What if I was to tell you that, that we've just a couple of tweaks, a couple of settings changes, and a couple of important pieces of information, you will be able to get over that daunting phase and have a much more simple, enjoyable experience. So with that being said, roll the intro and let's get into it. So let's say you've just started your new save for the first time. You're presented with this screen. As you can see here, we've got this nice shiny looking portrait that looks exactly like me. And it's natural that you're going to be a little bit overwhelmed by the fact that you've got all these different alerts and stuff. You've got all these menus. But there are two things in particular that new players do find daunting. One is there are so many things to do. For a lot of new players, they want to do only two things. They want to do tactics and they want to do transfers. They're at a kind of meat and bones of a manager's job. They don't really want to do the training as of yet. They don't want to go into hiring the staff and that sort of thing, interacting with the board on a regular basis. And the other thing that they can be daunted by is the data hub, thinking that they need to take in all of these different analytics and statistics and really utilize them. And that can be a little bit brain numbing. Well, I'm going to fix that all for you in this video today. And don't worry, I'll also be showing for any of you who use the console version instead of the PC version, even though the PC version is the best. So do try that out if you do have a capable PC. You don't need a very powerful one. But fear not if you don't, because I will be showing you on the console as well. The first things first, let's say you just want to do the transfers, you just want to do the tactics and not much more. Things like this training screen in the calendar, that's all a little bit too much for you at this moment in time. You don't want to have to sort out your staff kind of going through and hiring different staff roles and different departments. Well, let's show you how you can change that. As you'll see, we're on a staff tab here, and if you wanna go over to responsibilities, you're gonna come onto this screen. And again, that might seem a little bit overwhelming, but we're gonna break it down a little bit for you here. Let's say, for example, you don't want to do the training. Well, what you want to do is you want to go to training here and then you'll see here where it says Leeds General Training and it's got my name, Leeds Individual Training, it's got my name. What you can do, you can just click this arrow, select another member of staff. For instance, we're going to go with Tulio Greeti, uh, my assistant manager, and we're going to get him to sort that out for us. You can then click confirm in this bottom right corner and now he will take training on your behalf. He will sort all of that stuff out and you won't need to worry about it. Now the same goes with other elements as well. Let's say, for example, you don't want to sort out the set pieces. Well, you can get someone, delegate someone to do that as well. What about the scouting? Maybe you want your chief scout or your director of football to really handle all that stuff and they'll just bring you any suggestions and you can tick them off if and when you need to. Well, as you can see here, we've got Tony D'Amico. He is already set to assign the scouts. So he'll handle all that, send them on assignments, send them to different countries and areas. And then every so often, they will simply present you with a range of options in your inbox. The same goes with the transfers. Maybe you want to be a head coach and not a manager. Instead, you want everyone else to handle contract negotiations, identifying players and that sort of thing, you can do that as well. As you can see here, we've got negotiating player signings. We can just delegate that if you want to, to the managing director, initiating player signings, finalizing player signings, all that stuff. And if you scroll down the list, you'll find it for different elements. For young players, for example, you'll find it for under 20s players, for outgoing players, and all that good stuff. And it's really now down to you. Obviously, it will take you a couple of minutes just to go through this menu and assign and delegate what you don't want to do and what you do want to do. But once you've done that, it's gonna be a far more streamlined and easy process for you. The console does also have a very similar process, although a little bit easier and more streamlined. You can just go over to staff on the negotiation menu, hover over to responsibilities, and in here, you'll find you'll be able to designate it to either your backroom staff 
or to yourself. In this case, I can change the set pieces to my backroom staff, go over to recruitment. We can get the backroom staff on that as well. And that is nice and easy. My suggestion for this would be for you to gradually ease into doing different responsibilities. Let's say, for example, you're only doing tactics and transfers at the moment. Well, then if we go into the responsibilities, you want to take on more. Maybe then you should look to kind of integrate yourself into the training a bit more and take control of that. Or perhaps you want to look at the staff instead and be able to hire your own staff. It's good just to start easy and gradually work your way into it. So we've covered staff responsibilities. The other area that people find most daunting is the data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate a few weeks into the season so that we can fill out the data a little bit and then I'm going to make it a whole lot easier for you. So with that being said, I'll see you on the other side. So we have simulated a few games into the season now. And as you can see, we've started off quite well. Now let's talk about the data hub. Now, I'm going to confess something to you guys. I rarely use the data hub. Now, some people are really into it. They absolutely love the analytics. They love the statistics and will go through with a fine tooth comb. And if you enjoy doing that, that's absolutely great. No problem at all. For me, though, I prefer only to get kind of more of the meat off those bones so the first thing i would suggest to you guys is that you don't need to go through this with a fine tooth comb if you don't want to you absolutely do not need it at all to be successful the only time i will ever actually use the data hub is if i've tried a new tactic or a new system and maybe things aren't going well in the early days not on good form then i'll kind of look at the analytics and see what can I change? Now, there's one way in particular that you can do that that is going to make it much easier for you. We are in the data hub here. If you hover over matches and then click on last five matches, it will give you a good brief overview with some detail, though, about your last five matches and give you a really good idea over what may or may not be going right. You have all the positives on this side. You have all the negatives on the right hand side. So, for example, you can see here it says Adam Ola Lukman lost possession more than any other player in those five games. So that might tell us, is he not performing well or is his role? Does it need some tweaking a little bit? Is he taking too many risks? Is it just part and parcel of the thing? Sometimes it will give you a suggestion. So maybe it says that you're getting caught in behind too much. Drop the line, drop the block. But it's a really good way just to get some brief statistics to see how it's going without having to go into too much detail with, say, for example, these charts where we're seeing 0.06, lots of decimals and just a little bit too specific for me. And so with that being said, we are ready to round it off there. If you found it helpful, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to get notifications every time I upload a video and check out my Patreon for lots of fantastic perks and rewards, exclusive tactics videos, exclusive FM tactics if you want to get access to them as well. Behind the scenes videos, got some good stuff going up in my scouting career that I think you guys will really enjoy, this good server access and a whole lot more. With that being said, we're going to finish it there. Thank you everyone for watching. I really hope you found this helpful. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. And until the next one, I will see you soon.